Hi, my name is Wojtek and we are in the Hertz studio. In this episode, you will learn how to deal with double kicks in extreme metal, how to change the volume of desired articulation group on the snare drum, and how to use the free drum samples captured during the recording of the album Auri Gates of Wills by the band The Hate. I will show you how to quickly add more attack to your drums without using any compressors or EQ. But more about that at the end of this video. If you like the content, please subscribe to us. Only with your help we can make this kind of videos. Let's start with the kick drum. I know that many people have trouble fitting fast double kicks into the mix. One of the issues might be too much low frequencies when playing the double kicks quickly. To avoid this, I have divided the kick drum samples into two groups, fast and slow. The samples dedicated to fast playing are tighter in the low frequencies and have less ambience compared to the samples that will be played at the slower tempo in the song. I created a kick sampler channel and divided it into two articulations corresponding to the fast and slow sample groups. As you can see, the fast samples will play below velocity of 93 while the slow ones start from 94. In MIDI, I set the velocity of the fast samples to 93 and the slow samples to play around 95-96. Of course, you could set all kicks to a velocity of 100, but that would eliminate one of the dynamic groups. For the left kick drum, I use the same samples but with difference of the lowering the pitch by 0.5. The left kick will be played alternately with the right kick. Lowering the pitch of the left kick allows for a natural playing effect and adds more musicality to the double kick. There is a rule that the faster the double bass is played, the less difference in sound there should be between the right and left kicks. Lowering the pitch of the one of the kicks is enough to avoid the machine gun effect. On the tambourine's channel, I loaded the Red Pax 22 by 18 kick maple sample. I link this channel with the right and left kicks to add more depth when needed. I prepare six groups of snare drum samples. Each of them sounds different and has different compression and transient amount. Mostly higher velocities have more compression and attack. I loaded them onto the snare drum channel, assigned each group to a corresponding articulation, similar to how I did it with the kick drum. I also linked the snare drum with the cobalt channel, where I loaded the walnut snare drum sample 14 by 6 and half. In this way, I achieved a snare drum with a cool ambient sound and also a 6 articulation. Listen to it. It sounds quite good. Now I will show you a really nice trick that you never know before to achieve an even more interesting, unique snare drum sound. I press the unlock trim knob button. Now I have access to the volume of each articulation. In this case, I am interested in the volumes of the snare drum and cobalt channels. On the snare channel, I increase the volume of the first articulation by about 1 and 1 dB, the second one by 0.3 dB, the third one by 1. I decrease the fifth by minus 2.1 dB 
and the six by minus 2.4 dB. The fifth and the sixth articulation on the snare represent hits from the right and the left hands, shallow strikes. I lower the volume, but at the same time I raise the volume fifth and sixth articulation on the cobalt channel by a similar value. Listen to it now. Now it sounds even better to me. I have achieved a mix where articulation 1 to 4 have more samples taken from the height session, while articulation 5 and 6 are dominated by samples from the walnut snare drum in the red pack. I will also increase the trim of the 7 articulation, which corresponds to the rim stick, because now it's slightly quieter than the other notes. I recommend using this function also when adjusting the volume between articulation, for example the hi-hat, right or snare ghost notes. Some of you may want to make an open hi-hat louder or quieter, make the bell slightly louder, especially in metal music drummers love loud bells, or you want to make the left hand play the toms quieter than the right one. You can do all of this in the MIDI routing section by pressing the unlock trim knob button and freely adjusting the volume of each articulation. For the tones I choose the microphone C. Crashes, China, Splashes, Hi-Hat and Right, all of these are in the red library. Listen to this drum kit together in the mix. Adam wrote such epic riffs and Pavel Dramik is fantastic. You should listen to the full album. Now I will show you how in 10 seconds you can add more attack to this drum kit without using compressors or EQ. I add another Hertz Drums plugin and immediately load the preset Snap 4 from the Metal Unlimited pack. In that preset we have isolated Snap attack from the drums. I go to the Instrument group section I mute all the cymbals, leaving only the kicks, snare and the toms. I duplicate the MIDI drum track and send the track to the Hertz Drums Metal Unlimited. At the bottom of the program I adjust the volume in relation to the drum kit from the red pack. In this case I lower it by 6 dB and increase the toms by about 2 dB. Done! Thank you for watching it. Remember, you can have access to all free samples and presets from this video. As you will notice, these are not one-shot samples. They are multi-layered and dynamic. And the snare samples have six articulations. Check the link below. Thank you.